We're back live here at Gloria Buncarno, day two of the Asia Rugby Sevens Trophy. And we have both teams, uh, Uzbekistan and Bangladesh, ready to go. First game of the morning, day two of the Asia Rugby Sevens Trophy. We have Uzbekistan versus Bangladesh. Uzbekistan are in their white strip, while Bangladesh in the red jerseys. Bangladesh will be running from left to right from your screen. Just a reminder, this is the last of the round robin games for the men's. Um, so the result of this will impact on which of these teams is going through to each of the um, next rounds. The whistle is off by the referee and Uzbekistan kicks us off. Bangladesh with a knock on. Oh, went back by the looks of the referee. Yeah, Bangladesh trying to use the width here, but getting closed down fairly quickly by Uzbekistan. Loose ball. The big man from Uzbekistan. Oh, the great big ball, ball out wide. There's a chance. And he's put back it back inside. in. Uzbekistan opened the uh, scoreboard this morning with their first try. Yeah, fantastic play there by the big man, seeing the, the loose ball, picking it up, putting it out wide, and then a great ball back inside for the try under the sticks. Lead up work there was a uh, good defense. Actually, the pressure on the Bangladesh inside their own 22. They forced the mistake, and the conversion is successful, taking the score to Uzbekistan 7, Bangladesh 0. That was good pressure early there from Uzbekistan. Yeah, Bobby, I think it just shows the value of, of solid defense. Um, turnover ball, it had a lot of possession, lost it, and within seconds, they're 7-0 down. Uzbekistan now to restart us again. Not releasing penalty there to Bangladesh. Playing it quickly. That's it. Now then for Bangladesh. Let's see what they have. They put in a small little chip and chase there. Unfortunately, the bounce not working there, but a great idea. And Uzbekistan running it out from their own touchline. Good defense over in the far. Good recovery here from Uzbekistan. Now working their way out of their own 22. Oh, not dropped it forward. It's Knocked on 15 meters out from their own try line. Can Bangladesh capitalize on this? Let's see. Yeah, Bobby, some enterprising play there, but after the tackle, it seemed a little bit static from Uzbekistan. Very flat, and uh, not many players running onto that ball. Perhaps if they can, can get some go forward, they'd be a little bit more effective. Now Uzbekistan's uh, put to the test here to defend. 15 meters out, right in front of the posts. Let's see what they have. Now then, Bangladesh. 
Going backwards rather, but number 10 is put on the pace. Head on, he's barging over the defence. And the come referees on, pull on, it up. up. High tackle from Uzbekistan. That was a great run from number 10, Bangladesh. Nadir Mahmoud, and they're over. Short of the line. Another penalty to Bangladesh. Time off called from the referee. What yeah, can we see like here, Ryan? Ref's reaching for his pocket there. Repeated infringements, and uh, the big man's going to pay. The big man, number three, that is Jang Honggir Abdur Kadirov, sent to the bin for a bit of a break. Mahmoud, Mahmoud with that big step. Try time for Bangladesh. Great fight back here by Bangladesh, and now with a man in the bin, let's see if they can capitalize on that and maybe make something of it and get themselves ahead. Seven five with a kick to come. Uh, uh, Chakma with a the kick there. Um, close effort. And Bangladesh trailing seven to five. That's a good start, good restart. And it's good acrobatic work there from Uzbekistan. Fantastic follow up there. Looking for the teamwork. Unfortunately, losing that ball in the pass. And the ref has called a knock on and will pack down inside Bangladesh's 22. The ref has called time off again. Time back on. I think this is the first scrum of the day. Free kick Uzbekistan. Bangladesh is a little bit eager. Another penalty. It's a yellow card now for Bangladesh. Discipline is key here. Uzbekistan with a great opportunity here to score again. Numbers equal now. Two men down, a uh, man down for each team. Good defense so far from Bangladesh. They try to spoil. <laughs> Uzbekistan probably a bit guilty of taking too much contact here, not really using the width. They've got it now if they, they use this. They it now. Back on the inside. That's a huge step on the inside for them. Number 12, Ilya Sokolov. Brings the score to Uzbekistan 12, Bangladesh 5 with a kick to come. Boys taking on a bit of water there, certainly feeling the heat of Jakarta. Conversion is successful. Right on the buzzer here, Uzbekistan lead 14, Bangladesh 5. The referee will play this one before he calls half time. Bangladesh with a nice recovery. He's over the halfway line. Mahmoud is over the 30. He's over the 40. It's a great run from Mahmoud. Puts the ball out wide. Fantastic pass. Bangladesh on the break Bangladesh. here. Heading for the corner. It's number two. It's Akhurazam. Akhurazam. 
Fantastic response there by Bangladesh, not giving up and bringing themselves back into the game just on half time. That is rugby at its best here in Asia. Bangladesh right on the half time buzzer. Mahmoud with a great 50 yard run, spreading out to the left, finding his wingman, Akta Ruzuman, in for their second try. The score's now 14 to 10. Yeah, Bobby, I'm just looking back on that first half too closely. Um, competitive teams here, but uh, Uzbekistan probably um, just the kick chase on the kickoff is what's providing Bangladesh with some of these opportunities. So uh, going forward, perhaps if, if they can get that right, um, certainly the kicks are good enough. They've just got to get their hands on the pull when, they, when they're up close to the 22. And that, that really is sevens, isn't it? Where, uh, you know, counter-attack really is uh, important. I think if teams can start to actually train on what to do on counter-attack, uh, anything can happen. And as we've seen in that first half between Uzbekistan and Bangladesh, two equally uh, talented teams at, at, at this level of rugby here in Asia, um, I think it's, it's just now about who's more confident in what they want to do with the ball. Yeah, I agree. I think um, both teams want it just as much of each other, but uh, coming into the second half, both will be filled with confidence. It's really going to take one small moment in the game that's going to decide the outcome of this one. Well, it's a tight one. Half time, and it's 14 12 to Uzbekistan. Nothing in it. Uh, let's get ready for the second half action. Bangladesh to get us started in the second half. They will be running from right to left of your screen. Flat kick. They have numbers if they look far to the left. Ah, just some handling Pass errors there from Uzbekistan. It's away. Mahmoud. It's that man again, Mahmoud. Forget Speedy Gonzalez. We have Speedy Mahmoud. Yeah, Mahmoud having a great game here. Um, seems to be all over the park and, and just showing his pace. Looking a bit uh, knackered after that one, but <laughs> certainly um, a great try for Mahmoud and for Bangladesh. And again, uh, as we said earlier, Ryan, it's coming from that counter-attack. Uh, one minute Bangladesh there uh, are trying to defend and uh, Uzbekistan on the attack, one little mistake, bang, pounced on it and uh, it's that man Mahmoud again. The conversion is not successful, Bangladesh on a very, very slim lead, 15-14. Yeah, will well these uh, missed kicks come back to haunt them later in the game? Let's see. It could. As Bangladesh gets us restarted again, a nice kick there. Bangladesh defense not releasing there, and they're not back there, 10 by the looks of it. Uzbekistan deep, got the width. Good run there from Saidikov. The referee penalizing Bangladesh again. The switch inside. Yeah, Uzbekistan, interesting tactic here, looking to, to take the contact and try and grind Bangladesh down while they're chasing the game. Um, let's see if it pays dividends. They go out wide to the left. He's the big boy, number seven, and he is... Oh, let's see what the referee says. 
He will consult with his assistant referee. It was a great run from number seven. Player's confident he scored. And referee's and awarded the try. confidence pays off and it's a try. The big man, number seven, Sirojbeg Rachmanov. Yeah, great finish there by Uzbekistan. A lot of uh, physical contact before that and finally breaking down that defence out wide, putting the wide ball out and uh, the big man managing to hold on and getting himself into the corner. I think I like Uzbekistan's tactics here. They've got a few big men uh, running out there, uh, number three, number seven, and they're using that to their advantage, tiring out the Bangladesh defence. Yeah, it seems to be working working for them. A couple of times they've got themselves into trouble, but they seem to be securing the pool a lot better in the second half with the contact situation and slowly just sucking in those defenders and giving them, creating the width out wide for themselves. So that kick was unsuccessful. Now the score is Uzbekistan 19, Bangladesh 15. Big hit. I think the ref will call him up and he sees that. Another yellow card for Uzbekistan for a high tackle according to the ref. Now then, it's Bangladesh with a bit of creativity here. Kick chase. Recovered by Uzbek. It's the big number seven. Yeah, Bangladesh just giving Uzbekistan a little bit of space there to, to keep themselves going forward. They apply the short, short blind. Knockback says the ref. Play on. Still looking for the contact. Equally good defence here from Bangladesh. The smaller boys, but... It's toe to toe here. Yeah, unfortunately, Tackler got himself on the wrong side of the ball there and didn't get himself out the way. They're favoring that far left, that short blind. Right, Bangladesh with their hands on the ball now. Counter Rakia Bo's back is done. And they've got the penalty. Straightening up from Uzbekistan. But he loses the ball and he's lost the forward. A clear out there from Bangladesh. I don't know if that was the smartest thing to do. But he does find touch. So 90 seconds left in this game. We have Uzbekistan holding on to a, a small lead, 19-15. Yeah, and I don't see Uzbekistan uh, in any hurry to take this line out. They'll look to wind down the clock and hang on to the slender lead till the end. And the ref calls time off. Yeah, Bobby, I think uh, Bangladesh are going to need to get their hands on the ball at this line out. Um, well, otherwise, they're going to struggle to to come back into this game. It's all or nothing, but they did not win the line out, and it's now with Uzbekistan. They spread it quickly. Number 11 taking them on. And it's the new man with a bit of pace. Right, scrum here for Bangladesh. Possibly last throw of the dice for them if they're going to have any chance of, of coming back into this game. They've got to hurry. There's 40 seconds left in the game. Bangladesh down by four. Let's see what they can do deep in their own 22. But we have a man down and the referee calls time off. The players really feeling the pinch, feeling the heat in this uh, lovely Jakarta weather at 10.15 in the morning on a Sunday here in Jakarta. Let's see, we've got a change for Bangladesh. 
Mahabubur Rahman Dinar in the number six jersey coming in at scrum off. And uh, sadly for Bangladesh, their playmaker and certainly man of, of match for them in this game, um, Mahmoud, is coming off with an injury. Looks like a shoulder injury there. Let's hope it's not too serious for Mahmoud. The referee blows time on. We have literally 20 seconds left in ordinary time here in this opening match of day two. Good pressure there from Uzbek, but the referee says a bit too eager. Let's see what they can do. They spread it out wide. There goes the final buzzer. It's Bangladesh, 25 yards out of their own half. Bangladesh now throwing it around. Alive. Oh, ah, unlucky. And great pressure at the tackle there by number 13 from uh, Uzbekistan. Not releasing the ball there, Bangladesh. Uzbekistan kick it out. And that is the game of the opening of day two for the round robins. Uzbekistan coming away winners 19-15 over Bangladesh. Yeah, pretty tight game in the end there. It all uh, a bit held to skelter at times, but uh, Uzbekistan stuck with the game plan, kept it tight, won the turnover at the, at the ruck at the end there, and um, um, just stuck with the script, and I think that's what paid off for them, physical game. It was a great start to the morning.